story to tell. Referring to the man by the tank, we must all think of Americans, Russians, or Chinese. But you know, Brazilians have built a tank that won both M1 Abrams and Challenger after months of harsh challenges in the desert environment of Saudi Arabia. I am talking about Osorio, which was a man by the tank built by Engesa, a Brazilian private company. Almost forgotten today, the Osorio was a prototype man battle tank developed by Brazilian arms manufacturer Engesa during the 1980s. The Osorio was named in honor of Manuel Luis Osorio, founder of Brazilian Army's cavalry branch. In 1989, Osorio created an almost mythical feat in the worldwide arms manufacturing industry, winning two giants M1 Abrams and Changer after months of harsh challenges in the desert environment of Saudi Arabia. It was developed as a private funded venture by Engesa, with little government support. It was intended to be sold first to Arab and other third world countries, some starting production and enabling the Brazilian army to later place its own orders without having to fund development costs. However, macro-political events, including the Gulf War and American political pressure, led to the tank's demise, and the tank was never acquired by the Brazilian army. In 1982, development began in a new venture by Engesa into MBT production for its current export clients, who were having trouble purchasing newer MBTs built in member countries of NATO, as they were non-NATO members. The Osorio was specifically designed to accommodate Brazil's limited infrastructure. The combat weight of 43 tons was set upon as it was within the load capacity of the road bridges and overpasses in Brazil. Likewise, the size constraint into which the Osorio was built allowed it to drive or be transported through Brazil's existing road and rail tunnels, as well as to fit onto available tank transporters and rail cars. As this infrastructure was comparable to that of much of the developing world in the 1980s. It was thought that the Osorio would be ideal for export to these nations. On the front of the hull and turret, the Osorio tank was equipped with composite armor. This armor was broadly similar to the British Cobham. It has included steel, aluminum, carbon fibers, and ceramics. Although the armor of the Osorio was very light, it was extremely powerful and has been rated to defeat any anti-tank projectile above the frontal arc in service in 1986. Automatic fire suppression and NBC protection systems are available for the vehicle. However, it is considered that protection of this tank was inferior to most Western MBTs of that time. The Osorio's survivability concentrated on firepower and speed. The EET-1 Osorio MBT, intended for a Brazilian army, was armed with a British Ordnance L7A3 105mm rifle gun and carries a total of 45 rounds of armor for it. It fires armor-piercing fins stabilized, discarding support, high explosive, high explosive squares head, high explosive anti-tank warhead, anti-personnel chaser, white phosphorus, and canister rounds. The EET-2 was intended for export customers 
and was armed with a more powerful French Judge G1 120mm smooth bore gun. But the ammunition was reduced to 38 rounds. It fires armor-piercing fins stabilized, discarding sabot and high explosive anti-tank warhead rounds. Both of these guns are fully stabilized and manually loaded. The EET-2 main battle tank has an 80% hit probability against the moving targets at a range of 2 km. The EET-1 secondary weapons were two 7.62mm machine guns. One of them was coaxially mounted, while the other was placed on the top of the roof. The EET-2 was completed with machine gun coaxial 7.62mm and anti-aircraft machine guns mounted on the roof of 12.7mm. The vehicle had a four-man crew including commander, gunner, loader, and driver. Chassis includes six bearing and three supporting rounds from each side. Tracks were similar to Leopard 2 main battle tanks once, with removable rubber parts Chassis suspension was hydro-pneumatic. First, second and sixth bearing rounds were fitted with spring absorbers. Her bras and chassis were covered with armor screens, providing additional protection against cumulative rounds. Osorio has good speed and cross-country performance. It reaches 30 km per hour in 10 seconds. It manages 30% slopes, 3 meters wide changes, 1.15 meters vertical step. Without preparation, it falls 1.2 meters quarter of stackers. Foolishly, Angesha has spent over $100 million in the Osorio's development after it passed the fear testing with Saudi Arabia but not getting the signature on the order sheet. In 1993, Angesa fled for bankruptcy, and sadly, the Osorio never saw production. The Brazilian army still uses 132 of its original 334 Leopard 1A5s and also 91 US M60A3s. Although it just collapsed because of the political pressure of not fair players, but it has shown that this tank has shown great features and low cost, highly appreciated by world customers. Learning from this failure, Brazil's defense industry is applying Osorio's lessons and technology to other projects. A series of cart and ambitious products like the Embraer KC-390 transport aircraft MLRS Astro 2020, nuclear attack submarines, and Avibas cruise missiles. They were first customers to order and pay. With the strength of diversity, cheap price, relatively high quality, and unbounded politics, Brazil is really a big man. A formidable competitor is emerging rapidly among exporting weapons countries in the world. My video of Australia main battle tank ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.